mug me? I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the beef and marathon. Download Veely now. Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life. Your wedding day. I don't know how this is going to work out. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, <laughs> your mother-in-law. And you're ruining my day for me. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high. And she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Crystalyn and Jin. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand full control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. This can turn out really bad. If you don't want to know honestly what I think, please don't ask me. No one can push Surinder around. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Never going to get this opportunity again. This is horrible. So may the best mom win. Crystalline and Jin are competitive, and at 23, eager to move forward, but they can't actually agree on anything. Jin and I met at the gym. I was actually working out, and uh, apparently I wasn't doing the machine properly. When I see people doing equipment ineffectively, I come around and I tell them. Jin was definitely hitting on me that day at the gym. It's not flirting, it's called being a personal trainer. I don't know why he denies it. All I was trying to do was just do my job, and then you ended up hitting on me. Uh, I'll have you know it was only several <laughs> weeks after we were talking to each other, barely dating, when he told me he wanted to marry me. From the second that we kind of hit off and we started going out with each other, it was almost immediate, like our connection was very strong. Mm. The things I love about Crystalyn is uh, she's always there for people, and she's very caring and loving and compassionate. I love that he's able to deal with me. <laughs> uh, I proposed to Crystalyn on her birthday. She had no reaction whatsoever. I asked her if she'd marry me. She kind of looked at me and looked away and like kind of put her head down. I thought that meant no. So. I didn't even answer him. I was so shocked. I was just like, OK, is this my ring? And I put it on and started taking pictures. And <laughs> that was it. I just was so did not expect it at all. I think the most important thing for us to get married is now we can have kids at any time. We can definitely go over everything in detail on Friday. I would say it's going to take about an hour. Crystalline is a financial planner with a hectic schedule. I am extremely ambitious. Every day I have a list of things I want to do before I go to bed. I have a list of things I want to complete by the end of the week, by the end of the month, by the end of the year, and everything has to be done. I don't want to do this anymore. What a surprise I'll do it by myself. Well, I'm a personal trainer. I try to keep myself very healthy. You're eating again? Obviously. I tend to eat anywhere from four to six times a day. It's a very time-consuming thing. It's almost like a, like another job. I hope you're ready to kick some butt because we're having a really tough day tomorrow. It's legs day, muscular endurance. With uh, demanding schedules and back-to-back -back workouts. Did you clean up the garage? Right now's not a good time. Well, and right now's never a good time. This couple's plate is full. They need professional help to get down the aisle. I'm here to meet with Crystal and Jin. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. So congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. I hear that you haven't had time to tie the knot. Well, I'm here to help. Cool. There is one condition. You have to hand full control of your wedding day. The dress, the location, the flowers, the menu, to one of your mothers. Mm. Wow. My, like, suit and everything I'm going to be wearing at the reception. I can't choose that out? No. I can't even see it? No. <laughs> when I'm dressed up, I got to be fly. I got to, it's, it's got to be popping. Both moms are going to present their perfect ideas for a wedding, and then you would get to pick. Um, this can turn out really bad. You do, know, you do know this, right? Especially if your mom does it. I think my mom would do a lot better than your mom. I think it would be good because we're so busy, and it would take a lot of stress off of us. I think this is good. I like <sighs> it. OK. OK, so you're on board? Yes. Yes. I guess so. <laughs> OK, let's go get you married. All right. Okay. Introducing the moms. Jin's mother, Surinder, is a traditional Indian woman who believes strongly in her culture and its customs. Cooking and making nice meal for my family is the happiest moment of my life. Here we go. 
My marriage is the arranged marriage, and I love my husband. Rasmala is good. My father is the commander in Indian Army, so he has strict rules. I was also strict with the kids. I want them under rules and regulations to listen to me carefully. She's very traditional. What traditional Indian moms do is they put their family before before themselves. You're my most loving woman. <laughs> loving woman. I love you. I love you too. Jin's mom gets things accomplished by making you feel guilty. I will stand up for myself, for my family, and for my culture. No one can push surrender around. Crystalline's mom, Kelly, is a strong-willed, small-town gospel singer. Choose to smile when someone walks by. I'm free-spirited, kind-hearted, very giving, and I'm always thinking about other people. I'm a PK kid, so that means a preacher's kid. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean I was a good kid. Kelly shocked her God-fearing folks when she chose her husband. I am married to a Sikh, and that wasn't too agreeable with my parents. The two cultures, they're both very different. It was really tough. But I've been almost 25 years married, so I think I've proven them wrong. My mom knows what she wants. She is very intimidating. I definitely don't ever like to disappoint my mom. If she wants me to do something, I'll usually just do it just to please her. Not old mother. She's a very opinionated person, uh, kind of like how Crystalline is. If she wants something, <laughs> it's going to be just how she wants it. So now you see the right way is to be with me, right? I can All you. right. <laughs> Love you. If you don't want to know honestly what I think, please don't ask me. These moms don't see eye to eye. Kelly and me are from two different cultures. Surrender's a traditional Indian lady. I'm more contemporary. I am always home with my family. I tour quite a bit across the states and Canada. Kelly is never home with her family. I don't know what she does. I've heard that Surrender's got a temper. I can have one too. Uh, Kelly is very bossy. Crystalline and Jen, they both want to stay on my good side. I am a little bit afraid of her. The big day is what's really in question. I don't want it to be pure Indian or pure Christian. I'd like to have a nice compromise between each other that makes us happy. Well, I'd like my wedding to be simple. By simple, I mean like, um, I just wanted to get down to the point. My vision for the wedding for my daughter, Crystalline, is heavenly, a winter wonderland effect. My vision for the perfect wedding is beautiful, colorful. We can have white, we can have silver. Bollywood wedding, yeah. Maybe splash it with a bit of pink. Gold, purple. I do not want to see any bright, funky colors. Only the six ceremony. If they want me there, I've told them it's going to have to be the Christian ceremony. So I don't want to see uh, Christian in white dress, at, not at all. It needs to be a white dress. Should be Indian wedding in Lenga. I don't want to have just pure Indian food at the wedding. Indian food and Indian snacks and Indian deserts. No way. There is clearly a need for Gina to lay down some rules. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan their ideal vision for a wedding. Now only one mom's vision will be chosen. And the losing mom has to assist the winning mom with organizing the entire day. This is not what you guys told me. Truthfully, I was very angry inside. I didn't want to show it in front of the kids and that. I, I will be the winner, yeah. You will be the winner? Yeah. Do you really think you're going to win? Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. If I have to be Surrender's assistant, uh, I don't think I can do it. I might have to walk away from all of this. Crystalline, are you OK? Yeah. As long as Surrender's willing to do what my mom says, we're good. I'm pretty <laughs> sure my mom is going to win. It looks like we've got a fight on our hands. Don't mess with me, Kelly. Okay, so we're all on board, all yeah. four of us. Yeah. Well, may the best mom win. <laughs> two moms, two cultures, two visions. I don't see how this is going to work. Surrender, you should prepare for a war. I may look small and sweet, but I will be the boss in this wedding. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Crystalline and Jin choose, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. If my mom plans the wedding, I am concerned that uh, she might not take into consideration how modern we are and things like the decor. She might do it a bit more in her taste. Mm, so delicate, too. Just gorgeous. These are really pretty. 
I actually don't like flowers. I'm hoping not to have tons of flowers everywhere. Every girl likes flowers, don't you? Can I help you with anything? I'm looking for uh, centerpieces for my daughter's wedding. Congratulations. Thank you. Cool. I'm looking for something white, okay. heavenly, pure. Okay. I don't want anything old and grubby. How about this one? This looks like would be from a grandma, not from a daughter. Okay. How about the Lysianthus sprays? Oh, these are beautiful, but it's too much green. White flowers is definitely what I see. I want it heavenly. I want it pure. My daughter is not a heavenly child, and I want her to be heavenly for one day, please. How about this one? Ah, uh, that looks very nice. I really like that. I like the pureness of it. There's no greenery in it. Uh -huh. Looks like it would fit in heaven, maybe, eh? I am very confident about my presentation, and I'm very confident I'm going to win because I believe mine has more elegance and more romance to it. My biggest uh, worry with Crystal's mom planning the wedding is uh, she's just not as familiar with my culture as I am and my mom is. Would you like any help with anything? Yeah, I want to take these three. OK. Yeah. Pink, huh? Thank you. You're welcome. It looks good to my eyes and heart. These are beautiful. If Sarinda plans the wedding, I feel that she's not going to care at all what I want to happen at my own wedding. Everything will be completely traditional Indian. She's not going to want anything different. My son Manjinder will look very handsome yeah. in this. Yes, yeah. Of course. Sure. Can you show me that orange one too? This one right here? Yeah. These are be beautiful. Yes, they are. Yeah, you have some bindis? Uh, bindis? Yes, yeah. sure. Some of our bindis right here. I like this it's, color. It's a very nice color. I feel confident uh, that she, I bought the things for the crystalline, and she will sure like it. I am very, very happy. Time's up. The moms have to show their stuff. Two very different ladies, and I'm pretty sure two very different presentations. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Gina. Hi. Have a seat. Okay, thank you. Why don't you tell me about the vision? It's all the bright colors. Heaven. Hindi music and spicy food. Winter wonderland effect. So this is the coconut. This is a good sign of happiness. And these are my favorite glasses. What do you see Crystal in wearing? White and flowing. I have these all the bright. Oh, I love this. This fabric I will use for like in Indian wedding lehenga and in the evening purple color. This is something I wish her to be, an absolute angel. What were you thinking of as far as the location goes? Like a castle? In a grand hotel. Between 400 and 500 people. Wow, a big reception. Some more bling. Here is the box to put Indian sweets in it, uh, to give to the bride and groom. This for the decoration. And these would be hung Hanging. in the room? The room, yeah. Oh, beautiful. A little angel for my heavenly theme. You really want the room to sparkle. <laughs> this tray is for the ladoos and Indian sweet. We pass them around giving the guests to eat. And I'm thinking this is a high centerpiece? Yes, it really caught my attention when I saw it. Eye level is completely see-through. I think that's really smart. These are bindis. She shows the people that this lady is, is no more single. She's married now. Well, you have some beautiful pieces. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to these, and we'll put together a presentation for Crystal and Jen. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavenly Winter Wonderland or Bollywood Glam? I don't know if Crystal and Jen are going to go for either pitch this is gonna be a tough one Kelly my vision is the brightest and the best good luck to you because you're gonna need it it's time for crystalline and gin to see Gina's presentation of their mom's visions for the big day hi hi how are you good are you excited we're very excited what the couple don't know is that their mothers are watching and listening from a secret location. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mom. Are you ready to see the first presentation? I think we are. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Uh... This is a heavenly winter wonderland. Wow. Lots of white, tons of crystal. 
with hints of a dusty sort of lavender and an ice blue. Very different than what I expected, but it's still very nice. It's a lot of crystals. Crystalline, this would be your gown. Very full, princess, very angelic. Very nice. I mean, I look good in anything, so. This would be a sample of your high centerpiece. It's amazing. That's my girl. It looks OK, kind of much. Really big. How are you supposed to eat with that thing around you? You're going to hit your head into it. You're too much gin. I really like the purple. It looks gorgeous. A little over the top for me. So are you ready to see the second presentation? Yes. Yes, I am. Wow. Wow, nice. look at the linga. That's more like it. <laughs> he likes it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You probably told him to like it, didn't you? No, he already liked it. So here we have Bollywood glam. Tons and tons of bright color, spiciness. <laughs> lots and lots of beading, lots of embroidery, lots of jewels. I definitely think the bangles will look really good on you, that's for sure. The richest red roses. I think roses would be quite simple for a centerpiece. I think the roses are good. I mean, they're not too much. They're not over the top. My son really likes the roses. Yeah. Your roses? Yeah. A little bit of colored glass for the champagne flutes. Really nice. We have the box of sweet cakes. I love the linga. It's gorgeous. I definitely love my shawani. I imagine that looking real fly on me. I really like the colors, um, the embroidery and everything like that, and patterns, very vibrant. There's a lot of colors mixed, though, like the pink and the red and I'm not sure it all matches. It's nice and clean, you know, elegant. That's more like it. He likes Bengals. He likes Indian Langas. I think your son just doesn't like me. So I'm going to leave you two to discuss. And when I come back, you'll give me your decision. OK. Sounds good. Wow. Yeah. That's it? And that's it? Kelly and Surinder are cut off from spying, while Crystalline and Jin have to decide who will get to plan their wedding. So you're nervous? A mm, little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Well, when we look at this here, there's a lot of white. I have a little bit of a problem with that. I don't know what's going on there. This is gorgeous. These colors are amazing. I think it looks really elegant. Mm, I, no, I wouldn't say elegant. I'd say it's a little bit too much. If we go look over here, is this really what you want as our centerpiece? That's so simple. <sighs> the roses are beautiful. I mean, that's elegance. Uh, that centerpiece, it's too much. Way too much, too poofy. I don't know, this seems too simple, too traditional. The only thing I like on this side is the linga. <sighs> traditional side, I think it looks good. I like it. This is one of the biggest decisions we have to make. We have to live with this. We do. What do you think? I don't know, I made a decision. I'm just worried about telling them. I don't want to tell them. I don't want them to cry. I think I'll be the bearer of bad news here. I'll do it. I'll be good at it. I don't know how good you'll be at that. I'm OK with that. <sighs> Have you made your decision? We have. It was very hard. Very difficult. Don't tell me. Tell your mothers. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> Crystalline and Jin, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Oh, man. That's and crazy. You should be sorry. And now it's time to tell them your decision. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. Well, <laughs> this is hard for both of us to make the, make this decision. Um, I just want to let both of you know that we really think that both of them are really nice. But unfortunately, there has to be one winner and one loser. I'm sweating, but... waiting. So, Kelly? We will be going with your vision. Oh, oh my god, I am a loser. No, you're not a loser. You're my assistant now. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. I get to plan my daughter's wedding. Everything's going to be fabulous. I thought that my mom's presentation was very nice. It was very elegant. You'll be the best assistant ever. Okay. Personally, I really wanted to pick my mom's, but uh, it just didn't happen that way, because I want to make her happy. As long as she's happy, everyone's going to be happy. Kelly, congratulations. Thank you, Gina. Surrender. You're going to be Kelly's assistant. But I am very disappointed. I really don't like the ideas of being assistant. I want to become a boss. Working together with Surrender, it's going to be fabulous because I'm in charge. My mom might be quiet sometimes, and she might not really seem like she'll stick up for herself. But believe me, I, uh, 
I've been around her enough, and I know she's not taking uh, anything from anyone. Okay, so let the in-law wedding wars begin. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Surrender seemed all smiles. They're the ones sometimes you have to watch. I think that there's no compromise necessarily in Kelly's world. I think it's just going to be this is her vision, this is her way. Game on. It's time for Kelly and Surrender to pick wedding favors. First thing I see is this tree here. No, Kelly. Come this on. is this, this is, is too so, white. This is so no. nice. White is heavenly. It's angelic. You should see some of the stuff down here. It's lots of white stuff in that. Surrender. What are you doing? You're my assistant. You're supposed to be helping me. Oh, look at the candles. Oh, white. Beautiful, no? Even some white stars. Yeah, but uh, you select everything white. No But colors. I thought I'm the boss, no? You are the boss, but I, is, there should be some colors because it's a wedding. Okay, but I think I have ultimate calls, so I like these. I have told Surrender so many times now that the wedding is white. The color scheme is white. Those, okay. no, okay. no. Okay, you just push the cart and you just listen to me, okay? Yes, okay. thank you. Okay. Not really good time with uh, Kelly because she's a little bossy today. So heavenly looking. This isn't too bad, it's a nice star. What do you think, Surin Surrender? Surrender is supposed to be here as my assistant to make things easier for me, not harder. Red, pink, Surrender, like, what have you been doing? Like, honestly, you're wasting so much no, time here. these are here. beautiful colors. Look, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful for you, but not for the wedding. It just okay. doesn't work. She get mad. I will be a little mad at her, too, because I am the groom's mother. Determined to stay on track, the moms keep their appointment to visit Kelly's church, her dream venue. We were in my home church where I raised my daughter, and it's my father's the minister here, and it's where I really desire for my daughter to get married. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? It's, it's beautiful, but it's uh, not fit for the people. Everybody can sit here. Somehow we'll do it. No, I don't think so. It is too small. We can do an overflow. We just put the TVs downstairs with the monitors, and we mm. they can watch from downstairs on TV. No, in the basement. Uh, yeah. No. It, I mean, look, no. it doesn't look nice in the basement. What do you mean it doesn't look the nice? They're still here. The They're still going to be here with them. I want everybody to do we sit on the same floor. Or... I'm the mother of the bride, and mm -hmm. I get to choose what I want for my daughter. And it's a Christian ceremony in my church. I think I will bid for you in the car. What do you mean? Surrender, seriously. I am really angry with Kelly. She brought me here to show the church for the wedding. But I don't like it because it's too small for the people to fit. And she's telling me that half the people will sit upstairs and the half will go downstairs in the basement. I don't like that. I'm pretty sure the agreement was one of us won and I am the winner. So don't be a sore loser. <laughs> Tensions are high, but there's no time to quit. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding gown. <laughs> Crystalline has agreed to give over full control to her mother. If Kelly doesn't choose wisely, <laughs> Crystalline's entire wedding day will be ruined. Nice and poofy, nice and flowy. No, oh, they're all white. Oh, look at the train. It's just beautiful. Mm. Like this one? Mm, no. Oh, this is so simple, Kelly. Mm. No. What about this one here? Mm, no. What do you mean no? I don't, I don't like Kelly. I don't like any of these. Surrender. No. Uh, surrender's uh, really being a hindrance to me. She really is. I don't like it because it is in a white color. White is, uh, in our Indian culture, a sign of uh, sadness. Crystalline won't see her dress until her wedding day. She has to trust her mother to choose the right one. I need my dress to fit me perfectly. I'm working out. I want to look really good on my wedding day. This is so frustrating for me. Okay. Do you like it, Mom? Yeah, it's nice. So pretty. It doesn't feel like there's, like, very much detail on here. Just, you know? What do you think, Mom? Mm, no, I don't like it. All right, let's see another one, hon. I think this is really nice and beautiful on you, but it's not the one yet. Jin's mom, what do you think of the dress? I don't like it. Why not? It's uh, very simple and it's in white. 
She keeps telling me, I don't like white, I don't like white. She's got to wear her white dress for her wedding day. I mean, I really want it that way. I want my uh, daughter-in-law in a red, bright lenga. Uh, well, I don't like red. How's that? Is that fair now? I don't care if she gets mad. She should have respect for, for my opinion, too. <laughs> this is the one. Oh, my God, it's just so beautiful. Okay. Absolutely stunning. To me, that's just perfect. It looks so elegant. Can you tell me she does not look like a princess in this dress? I am sorry, Crystalline, I don't like this dress. Can somebody just please make up their mind? I've made up my mind that this is the dress. I need you guys to agree this is my day. I want both of you guys to be happy or I'm not going to be happy. No, sorry, Kelly, I don't like it. This is like once in a lifetime thing that my daughter's going to have, you know? Yeah. And I'm never going to get this opportunity again. Oh, I am sorry. Mom, this isn't fair. This isn't your wedding. It's my wedding. You're ruining my day for me. I don't even know what to say to you. I'm so uptight inside. I feel so hot, so flustered. I just want to leave. I just really want to go home and calm down right now. Where did my mom go? Mm. Why can't you guys just get along? Why can't you pick something you both like? This isn't fair. I can't even see my dress. This is horrible. Like, I don't know how I'm going to go home and sleep properly. Like, I'm going to be up all night thinking about this. I don't know how this is going to work out. Can you help me get out of this dress, please? I don't care. I want Crystalline to wear Lenga because she's now my daughter, not Kelly's daughter anymore. I'm here to meet with Crystalline and Jin. They better not be having second thoughts. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again. Jeez, you're both here. Uh, yes, it is good to see you. What's going on? We just don't know what's going on right now. Like, everything from the venue to the dresses, and just like our mothers are not getting along. And So with the dress, what was the problem? My mom left when we were trying on the dresses. There was one dress that she loved, and she was so happy, but Jin's mom doesn't like anything. She just kept saying they're white. She didn't want me to wear it. She wants me to wear a lenga. They're not agreeing on anything. Jin, how's your mom doing? She's really upset. She's called me a couple times, and she just she doesn't like the way that things are turning out right now. Okay. And she feels like the church is just going to be way too like claustrophobic for people. We've got to have a bigger place. My mom really likes that church. We've been going there for a long time, but there's not enough space for everybody, so. It's just way too small. We've got so many guests. I've got so many people in my family. It's just not realistic. I want everyone to be happy, and right now we're not happy. I think that what I should do is get your two moms together. So let me go. Let me touch base with them, and if you hear any anything at all from either mom, why don't you give me a call? Is okay, Gina, okay? thanks. We really need your help. I'm not even going to take my coat off. I'm just going to leave. I have too much to do, okay, all right? Thanks. I will call you. Okay. All right, okay. thanks, Bye. I have to take off my wedding planner hat. I have to put on my referee hat because these women are fighting. There's some major stuff going on here. I don't know if the kids are going to be able to get married. Hey, Kelly. Hi. How you doing? All right. Oh, hi, Surrender. How are you? I'm fine. Good. You. Come on. Stand over here. We have to talk. This is crazy. You're not getting along at all. This wedding is never going to happen. I came up with two things that I think you're going to be OK with. I hope that you're going to be OK with, because as far as I could see, it's the only way we're going to move on. First off, Kelly, the ceremony has to be in a venue, a huge hall that would be able to accommodate all of your guests comfortably. Still have your dad come and officiate it. We could make it very church-like. Um, I could think about that. I would, I'd be open to thinking about it, at least. And would that make you happier? Yeah. The other thing, I understand that you want to see Crystalline in a traditional white wedding gown. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Well, we're here today at a place that sells langas. I think that you girls should go in, choose a traditional langa for Crystalline to wear at the reception. Are you trying to side with her now? Because last time I saw you, I'm pretty sure you told me I was the boss of this. We're compromising just a bit to move forward. This is not panning out any way what I had planned. They have some beautiful pieces in there. See if you can find something. Will you do this for me? No, I'm going to try, Gina, but you know, I'm not keen on this at all. Just go look at a few things, OK? okay. Thank you, Gina. OK. They did not go in there happy. They did not go in there smiling. I have no idea what's going to happen. Look, look at the fabric. Oh, look here. This is so beautiful and nice. I like this because it will be, well, it is bright color, red color, and it will look very good on crystal. These are all different, beautiful Surrender. colors. Surrender. I'm not saying they're not beautiful. They are, they are beautiful. beautiful. Look the embroidery. I love it. 
Look here. It's so beautiful. What do you think, Kelly? This is beautiful. It's a beautiful this color. Is beautiful Everything it is pretty. Yeah. Somebody's really done a wonderful job putting this all together. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very tedious. Very, I mean. very, yeah. Why don't you help me finding one lenga for the reception, Kelly? You know what? I'm, I'm going to help you pick the lenga just because I promised Gina that I would try and I will try it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm doing this for Surrender and Crystalline and Jen, and I'm really hoping to keep them all happy. That one day is the most important day of my daughter's life, and I want to have a lot of peace that day. Yesterday was a bad day for me, but today I feel much better, and I, I am happy today. I think right now I'm showing her what a good assistant is. Now I get a, ch a chance to become a boss. But it's not done yet. With time running out, Gina meets with Kelly to show her the venue. Gina, I'm worried. I'm really worried. Really worried. Now, I know it's not a church, but please keep an open mind. Are, are you really looking into my vision? Are you seeing my vision? I don't, I don't see it at all. You just have to really erase all of this and understand that your vision, it's going to be in here. Do you like the space? Give me a chance to do what I do. Come on. Now, just look. I mean, the space is beautiful. The walls are warm. The chandeliers will be a lot lower. The bridal party could come in that way. It's so dramatic this way. This whole front and altar. It's, it's not going to look like a church. It's going to be like this great big open space. You've got all these tables. You can stick some chairs in here. I mean, it's, it's a sacred day. Trust me. I know what you want it to look like. I don't know, Gina. What is really the issue? I can't see my dad coming in to a hall to officiate my daughter's ceremony. I, I don't think he'll come in here and do it. I really don't. If you get your father here on the wedding day, I guarantee you he is going to want to do the ceremony here. Just trust me. Uh, this had better work. The dad showing up or not showing up is a major issue, but an even bigger issue right now, I think, is Kelly's attitude. And if she's not on board with this, the wedding's really gonna be a disaster. You have the Langa for the reception? I do. Okay, so you did get that with Surrender? Yes, we did get okay. that, yeah. And the ceremony dress? Yes. I picked out a dress for Crystalline, and I'm just really hoping at this point that she's gonna like it, and she's gonna put it on. I mean, for all we know, she might put it on and walk away and not even go through with the day. So we have both dresses? Yes, we have both We them. just have to get your dad here. Yeah, we need to do that, or you need to do that. I, you need to get no, your dad no, here. No, not me. It's the night before the wedding and time for the rehearsal. It's up to Gina to keep everything on track. You'll walk down the aisle. Oh, nice and slow, that's perfect. And seat her in the first chair. And then you will sit right behind her there. Mm -hmm. Right there, perfect. And now I'll take my groomsmen. My dad wasn't at the rehearsal today, so uh, Gina had to run it. So I don't know if he's gonna be here tomorrow or not. Nice long line, great. Follow me. Now you'll have bouquets, so hands at the waist. So you're gonna go off to the side. <laughs> just, just make sure he's next to you. Perfect. All right, we're ready for a wedding? All right? Go. Now we can go eat. Let's go. I am worried that Kristen is wearing the white dress tomorrow. My family will not be happy with that. It's really hard to envision the wedding right now because I know that there's been a lot of troubles going on and I just want everyone, everyone to be happy. We're just hoping for the best and we hope that, you know, uh, Kelly really has everything in check. <laughs> the rehearsal dinner tonight, uh, it was really awkward. Crystal was walking around not talking to anybody and I'm believing it's got a lot to do with tomorrow's the big day. She's really had no hand in anything whatsoever. I mean, as her mom, I was really disappointed for her to have such a negative attitude towards people. <laughs> All right, guys, if I can get your attention real quick. We just want to make a special thanks to our moms for doing such a great job in making this night possible. And let's have a great night tomorrow night, guys. Enjoy the wedding. Here's my daughter getting married tomorrow. I'm supposed to be really excited about it and everything, and at this moment, I'm dreading it. I, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if it's going to happen truly at this moment. So, I mean, something that should be so exciting is really weighing me right down. Crystalline, hurry up. Come on, I got something to show you. Hi, Mom. Crystalline is at her mother's house to see her wedding dress for the first time. How are you? Good. Yeah, I have a surprise for you. But oh, mine's better than yours for sure. Come on. How about you show me your surprise first, and then I'll show you mine. Well, Mom, I got Mendy done. Look. Mendy? 
Crystal Lynn. What made you do this, hun? Seriously. It's my wedding. It's beautiful. Everyone does this. You know, I don't like it. I'm not going to say anything, though. This is your day, and I want you to be happy. And I'm going to have to just accept this for today. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. It's beautiful, Mom. Anyways, for my surprise, I've got your wedding dress here. Really? I think it's beautiful, and I really think you're going to love it. But I want to try to keep peace between everybody and keep everybody happy. So I think even Jin's mom's going to be pleased with this. You ready to try it on and see what it looks like on you? Yeah. Let's go. OK. All right, come on. Keep your eyes closed, no peeking at all. Are you ready to see your wedding dress? I'm ready. You sure? I'm very excited, Mom. One, two, three, look. Oh my goodness, it's a Lenka. Do you love it? It's beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness, Mom, I had no idea you'd get me something I like so much. It looked like you when I saw this. Wow, Mom, I love it. Oh my goodness, look at all the detail. This is all hands stitched. And the corset at the back instead of a zipper, so it's very different. It's so fitted, it's beautiful, Mom. Do you think Jin's mom's gonna be happy now? At least I put you in a langa. I'm sure she'll be happy. This is beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I have a favor to ask, so can we just sit down for a second? I have to sit down for this? Come on. So, Jen and I were talking, and we'd really like it if you would sing at the reception for us. Are you being serious? Yeah. Do you know it's like three and a half hours before you get married? Mom, you have so many songs. You can pick one. Mom, it would mean a lot to me. I really want you to do it. <sighs> you know, it would mean a lot to me, too. I'd be very honored and very happy to do that for you, OK? All right. So let's go and hurry up and get ready for all I've got to do now. <laughs> It's wedding day, and Gina has her hands full. We have 15 minutes to make this a church. Are the ribbons on all 450 chairs? Girls, why don't we go work on the centerpieces? That's okay. fine. Take this okay. with you. Hey, Gina. Hey, Kelly. I'm so excited. Oh, you like it? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't wait for my dad to come in and see it, and I can't wait for the kids to see it. Do you think your dad's going to love it? I hope my dad loves it. Is he coming? Is he's he coming, he's coming, but I've got so many things to do okay. and hardly any time. So okay. when he comes, I'm going to bring him in right away, and I'll show him, and then we'll take it from there. OK, okay? that's great. Right. No, Thank you so much. Okay, hon. I'll see you later. Go take care of okay, things. Bye. Good luck. And I want to show you, don't don't mind any of this. Wait till you see what's all around here. Look. What is it? What do you think? Are you going to do the wedding here? Uh, it's not a church setting. It's not what I'm used to, but it'll do. You'll do it. It'll do. I'll Come do on. it. I'll Come do on. We it. don't have Let's any time to waste. I was so worried about bringing my dad in here today because it's so close to the time for it to actually happen. But uh, he loved it, and I owe a lot to Gina for this, for sure. The wedding's about to begin, if you okay, wanted to sure. go in. You know where you're going? I, uh, Straight up? To the room? Yeah, you okay. got it. I don't know where the bride and groom is. We need to line them up and send them down the aisle. We're a half hour late. Not good. The bride and groom finally arrive. The ceremony can begin. Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the sight of God and these witnesses. Join together Manjinder Singh and Crystal Lynn for Manu. Manjinder, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her in plenty and in want, so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Crystal Lynn, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him?
comfort him, honor and keep him in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. Mangender, will you repeat after me, please? I, Mangender. I, Mangender. Take you, Crystal Lynn. Take you, Crystal Lynn. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Crystal Lynn. I, Crystal Lynn. Take you, Mangender. Take you, Mangender. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I declare that they are now husband and wife. <laughs> come in through the doors tonight I just knew she let go of everything all the anger anything that she was holding about all of this and uh, I think she was absolutely thrilled the bride and groom mingle with their guests in the foyer while Gina and her team ready the room for the reception we need to get all of these on the table okay. I love it it's party time time to change the clothes and get on with it let's start Introduced for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Singh. The best thing about this wedding is that everyone has gone from being really unhappy to really happy. I want to thank my mom and dad for all their love and support, and I just hope that I will be as good of a parent as you have been to me. I would just like to thank both our moms for putting together this wonderful wedding. Please, guys, a round of applause to you. Thank you so much. God bless you. None of this would be happening if Kelly would have walked in and hated the venue. We had to make it a church. We had to make it heavenly. She walked in. She loved it. And now they could party. Are you upset with anything I've done here? No. You love it? Yeah, I love it. So to me, I succeeded. I love her. Ooh! <laughs> The wedding was absolutely stupendous. Everything worked out so good for us. The cake, the venue, the clothes. I think the decor came together well. I think the ceremony looked great. It was so touching that my grandfather married us. It was very beautiful. When I saw her walking down the aisle, honestly, I think my heart skipped a beat. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack, actually. It didn't ruin the ceremony, but I was shocked to see her in white dress. This has been a really big celebration of love between the bride and groom. Now that we're finally married, we're just so happy. Honestly, all the stress is, is off our backs, and we just want to party. We want to have a great time and just enjoy being married. No more wedding wars for us, right? No. No, we're no. done. We're we are friends. Done. We are friends. Peaceful yeah. now, yes. We are friends.